Day 13, biggest equestrian fail. So day two was biggest achievement, so it's only right that we do the fail as well. So I have got one for each horse, and funnily enough actually, both of them fall on the 13th. So Hattie's was the 13th of September, and Barbie's is actually six years ago today. So we start with Barbie, and it was a show jumping competition. It was the Trailblazer second round, um, so basically, if she qualified this, then she'd be going to Trailblazers. So um, I was a senior on Pony, I was in that section, and because there wasn't many seniors on Ponies, it, we had a really good chance. Um, so all she had to literally do was just jump clear, um, which sounds easy, sounds reasonable. But anyway, she warmed up really nicely. We went into the arena, trotted round, she felt really good, counted her into the first fence and she stopped. I mean, this wasn't unusual for Barbie because she, she was partial to the odd stop here and there. So I thought, okay, go back round, try again, it's fine. And she done the same thing again. So I was like, Barbie, like, really, come on now, just need to jump. So I was like, this ain't right, this ain't good. So I was looking a bit like, oh, come on, I've got one more chance now before we get eliminated. One more. Um, so took her into the fence again, and I feel like I literally picked her up and put her over the jump. So we went round to fence two, and she stopped. So we was eliminated. And so we spent all that time, all that money, competing her, getting her ready. I mean, we didn't even over, over jump her at all. She just decided no. So then we put her back into the warm up and obviously she jumped whatever I asked her to jump there. We just took her around the warm up fences again. And she was like, I can do that. Really annoying. Really, really, really angry. Yeah. It's just hard when you have your like, you just sit on something and then they don't, they don't want to play ball. And then, so then after that, we took her out on the Tuesday and she refused the second jump, but then she went around the rest of it. And then we took her out the weekend as well and she won the class. And I said, why couldn't you have done that then? So that was six years ago today when um, she decided not to jump and that we weren't going to qualify and go to Trailblazers. So then we move on to Hatties and this happened seven months ago today. So yeah, I think I just don't think I should do anything on the 13th to do with horses. Um, so anyway, it was the Sunshine Tour. You will probably know about this anyway. Um, yeah, Sunshine Tour. We travelled up there on Thursday the 12th. Stable there overnight, ready to compete on Friday the 13th. I mean, it's a bad day anyway, isn't it? Everyone says Friday the 13th. I don't think it was a, a new moon or a full moon, something like that. Anyway, something to do with the moon that day as well. So, um, got her all ready and everything on the morning of the Friday the 13th. Um, got her ready, walked her down to the warm-up arena. Had to wait a little bit to go in, just like a few minutes while someone else left. And then there was, because like, they didn't overcrowd the warm-up arenas, which is something I was really pleased about, because that's one of the things I was worried about, because she's a bit funny with other horses coming near her. Hattie's been social distancing ever since she was born. Um, yeah, so um, I, got, I get on her, and she felt really tense, she felt really hot, so I thought, okay, I'll just get her in the warm-up, get her moving, get her going forward, she'll be fine. And literally walked like six steps into the warm-up arena, like, marching on. And she just rears up, spins round, comes back down, drops her shoulder. So I obviously fall off. And I fall. And I get back up. She's obviously ran off because I held onto the rope, but she pulled back and got scared. So I let go of her. She was in the warm-up arena. Um, got up. Went to go and get her. My hand really hurt. I took off my glove and my finger was a bit red. I was like, oh, it's all right. I put my glove back on. Got her. Then my dad came over and got her as well with me. And he's like, you're right. I'm like, yeah, it's all right. But my finger really hurts. I took off my glove again. And he was like, oh, it looks dislocated. It's all right. We'll just put it back in. And um, the 
the stewards called over the paramedics and they were like, paramedic come over, she's like, I think it's broken, um, you should go and get it x-rayed. I was like, okay then, brilliant. She's like, can you walk over to the car? Because like, the warm-up room was here and her car was like, over there. I was like, yeah, I can still walk, like, it's just with the finger. So I was walking over to the car and I had to stop and like, sit down because I nearly fainted, I was going dizzy. It, like, I couldn't see properly, I was really hot, I felt really sick, I had to sit down. And I, she's like, come to the car, I'm like, I'm dying. Um, so I got to the car and I was just like, oh, oh, get my hat off me, get my jacket off of me, I can't cope. But then I was alright and they said that it was just like the shock and everything. So yeah, then I had to go to the hospital, um, have x-rays. Kaylee had to load Hattie back onto the horse box to go home. My dad travelled with Hattie to go home, so my mum took me to the hospital and Kaylee drove her own car back. Um, yeah, and that was that was the biggest waste of time and money ever. I mean, her travels to Hickstead, stables her horse overnight, stays in her tent overnight, to not even compete. Me. Me. I will, will try again, but not if it falls on a 13th. I'm avoiding that, like the plague, like the coronavirus, I'm avoiding that.